surely this isn't part of the intended route Welcome folks, it's Dick here, start of our day 10, the My Route app Route 08, which is from Biddyford, no sorry, which is from Portreath, Route 08, which is from Portreath to Biddyford. And I've decided because we are spending two nights in Biddyford with a tour of Exmoor tomorrow the weather being so bad I've gone for a hotel camping for the two nights was going to be £60 £30 a night I've got a hotel at a country retreat spa for two nights for £76 so for the extra £16 I splurged at least my gear can stay dry or get dry because I think it's going to get wet today. Last night was absolutely atrocious weather-wise. Rain, really strong winds and this morning started off with uh, rain, a lot of rain. That cleared a little bit, the sea mist rolled in and we're, we are where we are. And then the heavens opened and the mist came in and it became just about impossible to film anything. So even the GoPro in its little media mod tends to get damp quite quickly inside the media mod itself. So I'm going to put it away for now because we, <laughs> we can't really see much anyway. However, if you were to do this trip in whatever shape or form or routes that you chose pick and choose, this is probably about the worst that you're going to see it. And it's still lovely, even though, <laughs> even though you can't really see what's beyond the next set of bushes. But don't let that put you off. The roads and routes have been great. The weather has been typical British weather, I suppose. So as long as you go prepared, you can enjoy it nonetheless. Hopefully I'll catch you a bit later. We are back in Newquay. I stayed in Newquay two nights ago before crossing back to St. Austell. But I think we're just coming upon Fistral Beach now. This is Fistral Beach. I've been lucky over the years to travel quite a lot around the world. This is the place where my wife has stood on a poisonous fish. The only poisonous fish in the UK and she stood on it. Um, the lifeguards are used to it here. I can't remember the name of the fish. Some little flat thing with its spines and they put put her foot in as hot water as possible to reduce the poison. The hotel I stayed at the night before last was that one, Pine Lodge, and it was fine. And it's only 16 miles across to St. Austell, a half an hour, which is where we need to go back to to pick up the other route, whatever that one was.
It's a lovely bit of beach. This is the town of Padstow. So we just go for a little loop around the beachfront. Coffee stop or oh, lunch stop it says. Well, that was a nice little stop. Had a quick snack, lovely bag, parking free over by the harbour there. Just heading out. I can find my way out. Take the long turn already. Surely this isn't part of the intended route. <laughs> Having me on. Well that's Tintagel Castle. Luckily we can see it from the car park because you can see nothing beyond. Clear enough to see something now. The weather has been absolutely dreadful. And the road is very small, very flooded. Cleared again. You know. This is the official end of today's route. We're on our way from Hoops Inn to where I'm staying for the night and it's actually clearing. It's still raining, well drizzling, but you can actually see stuff. There's fields out there and churches, wind turbines, grot on the road. But, it's better than the, the mist and murk and fog and rain that's been there all day, being just about impossible to see anything. Anyway, it's 10 miles to where I'm staying, about 20 minutes. But I think I've mentioned, for two nights, it's 76 pounds. And the campsite uh, local to here for the two nights was £60. So, 
pays him money, he takes a choice. Whatever it is, it's probably going to be a bit more comfortable than the campsite. And I am drenched. My boots are full of water. I've been through so many massive great puddles. My gloves, are, yes I have spare gloves but not with me. <laughs> Just going to enjoy the little journey back and see stuff. See you later. It's this sort of thing I was tell talking about. I just don't know where the potholes are. It's a trouble. Feet up, hope for the best. That was fairly deep. I don't know what it is with my Garmin, it seems to be taking me the most narrow routes it can. We're staying at the Woodford Bridge Country Club, which is somewhere just up here. I think it's where that car's coming out. It is. Hmm. Okay. Just coming the out. Reception. Bar and restaurant. There must be more parking then surely. An eventful day. Not really much to see, <laughs> look at the muck burning off the exhaust. I think we did 133 miles in the end. And I must say, if the sun had been out, this would definitely have been my favourite route. And it's one of the routes I think I would want to do again, do it justice with the um, proper sunshine. Anyway, tomorrow uh, it's just a loop of Exmoor. But I think it's weather dependent. If it's night today, it's not going to be worth doing, so I'll have to determine what to do. I'm booked in here for two nights. As I say, £76 for two nights. Not bad at all. Anyway, that leaves me to do. You say, bye for now.